go that direction, yeah. We're at Paniiri, I'm with Jacob, and he's behind Galaxy Man Channel. Can you tell us what that is? Uh, yes, I do. Um, the Galaxy Man Show channel is on YouTube, and basically I interview famous people like all these guys here at Paniiri Green Festival 2017. So guys, if you are here, come down to Paniiri Green Festival 2017, and it's super, very awesome. So watch 7 News and check out Galaxy Man Channel. Just do. Thank you. Reporters in the world, Sean Gadama and Phil McDonald. So, nice to see you, Ryan. Yeah, so how long have you guys been in the news business for? Well, I've been doing it for uh, 30 years now, so it's been quite a long time. I've done a bit of sport, a bit of news, and um, yeah, it's been a really good job. Great. 30 years for me as well. Pretty much. Yeah. We haven't aged a bit since we started. No, that's right. No. <laughs> I love the way that when they start talking about you as being experienced, you kind of feel a little older, but you know, we, we have been in the business for a It's a polite way of saying yeah. you're old. Yeah. Yeah. So, when did you get the call to make you guys know that you got the job? Or to make you guys know that you'd be in the news business? Well, well I was just fresh out of university, so I went to UBT here in Brisbane, and um, I have been doing some work experience for Doing uh, working for 40k radio, writing copy, and I uh, got a job in Toowoomba doing sport. And uh, it was around the same time that the Brisbane Bears football club started, and they needed somebody to cover AFL in Brisbane. And um, so I got an opportunity there and came down to the Big Smoke and started at seven. And um, yeah, it was very exciting, and it all kicked on from there. And, and here we are, 30 years later. So, have you guys got any YouTube tips for any like beginning reporters? Like, say, who want to get into the big game, like you guys? I always say do work experience. You know, these days most of the journalists go to university and they get a degree in journalism. But um, the key is pretty much work experience and ability, getting your foot in the door because from there you never know where it's going to lead and um, and that's really the way to get your big break I think, in television news these days. Yeah, I'd agree with that, and um, because when you do work experience, you get to meet the people that hire and fire, so to speak. So you form a relationship with them, and they can see what some of your capabilities are. And, and it's pretty competitive. Yeah, it's, it's very competitive. really hard to get a job in and television. tough work too. Yeah. It can be tough work, very much so, depending on if like there's a major disaster or something like that. We work pretty hard we're trying to get all that the latest information out to our viewers. But um, yeah, I think for young journalists, the key is to, to just do as much work experience. As you can, yeah. and hopefully someone will notice and give you a job. And be resilient, and you know, take a few, you get a few knocks along the way, but you've got to keep keep on knocking on the door and knocking on the door and you know, believe in what you do, and you'll eventually get there. You want a coffee? Yeah. You want a coffee? Yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah. So, um, what's your best What was the best stories that you guys have covered so far? Mine would have been some sports stories. Probably for TV out in Toowoomba, it would have been something like the local speedway, the local footy team, a lot of local sports. So, uh, but that's good. You learn to write, and, uh, learn to see how to structure the story and what makes a story and what doesn't. So, yeah, that's a good way to learn. your worst stories that you guys have covered? The hardest ones are always the natural disasters. I think that you, they, they, like, because like you really the feel for the people involved. Yeah. yeah. And you're not, um, you know, we as professionals have to go out and report on whatever's happening, but you can't help but get caught up in the lives and, and how it's affecting the lives of other people. And um, I think that's the hardest thing. Yeah. I get quite attached to the people that we have to, to interview, and um, you just yeah, you really feel for them in that situation. The big natural disasters that affect a lot of people and turn their lives upside down. Yeah, so 
Is it possible for me to have a shout out for you guys? Sure. I've been known on my channel, Facebook, Clark channel and all that. Clark channel. Yeah. Thank you. Hi to everyone watching the Clark channel. Hello. Still got a chance, and she's down! She's into the last one! Oh my god, this is tight. You gotta have it all down. You gotta have it. You can't it's so tight. Cons got one left. Come on! Yeah. Oh. Surprise yeah. win! Give her another round of applause! Yeah. 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 I was just there for the food this morning. Janine, stick around. I mean, he, he was out of the gate so quick. I thought he had it. I thought he had it. Big round of applause for these guys. Well done. Absolute thriller. Good stuff. And that'll make a lovely footage. That'll be lovely. Beautiful. You get a, you get a good angle? That's good. That's not good. All right. One for the family. Our next competitor. So we do the children next. Rachel. Rachie. Rachel. She's taking the hat off. Tim. Make your way down. All right. Everyone gets six puffs. We're just making sure. Oh, that's a that's a huge puff. We have is James Hudson around. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Love the hat. With sun protection. He looks quietly confident. And we had Riley. Riley. No, we did, did we did we did Riley who was the Riley. Riley. He was the last one. No, no, not again, buddy, sorry. <laughs> Riley doesn't mind going back for seconds. James Hudson, have we had you? Oh, there we said James. Jack, we've had.